scientists have finally cracked the code of being able to make offspring from same-sex parents. One of the problems with using same-sex parents in order to make offspring is that you need to get certain genes from your father and certain genes from your mother in a process called imprinting. While you may have the same copy of the gene, it does require that it comes from your certain parent. Scientists decided to try deleting the region that is actually required to imprint, and it worked. These mice actually grew up and had offspring of their own. In a similar process, and all the way back in 2004, scientists were also able to make parthenogenic mice, meaning it came from only the mother's genes and grew them to adulthood. These processes could be a major breakthrough for people with infertility or same-sex couples that want to have children. Now, it's definitely not legal in humans yet, and part of that is the long history of having problems with clones. The process of making your cells is very complicated and requires a certain set of steps in order to make sure that your genes are expressed correctly. Whenever you skip a set of steps, you can end up with major problems. One of those is the fact that cloned offspring are the same age as their parent cells when they were extracted. That's because the telomeres, or the stable ends of your chromosomes, have already started to decay as you get older, a process that's pretty intense when it comes to mammals. When you clone an animal, you require a fertilized egg. The guts, so to say, of the egg are removed, and then a new genome is inserted. Then it has to be implanted into a surrogate mother. In order to avoid some of the aging issues, scientists often like to use fetal animals as the subject of cloning. But that certainly doesn't help when you want your cat or dog back. This is a growing process, and I think we're going to get pretty good at it as we go on, and the general public is most likely going to get over their issues with playing God.